to plan a trip to Paris on a budget most among us can only think of visiting the city of lights in our dreams. But we at Wakeaholics are firm believers in budgeting. So when we're featuring an affordable Parisian adventure, you simply ought to begin taking notes. There is but one Paris and however hard living may be here. And if it became worse and harder, even the French air clears up the brain and does good a world of good. Vincent van Gogh thousands of articles written over Paris and yet we just can't seem to get over this city. Everyone wants to have their own version of Paris one that's either artsy, ditzy or kitschy. Not surprisingly, Paris has managed to muster up quite a fan following since it's pretty much been the hotbed of rebellion. Teeming with avant-garde concepts in literature, music, fine arts, fashion, architecture, cuisine and what have you. Honestly, a visit to Paris is probably on everyone's agenda. Since this is probably the only city in the world to literally have it all from Disneyland to Moulin Rouge and everything in between. So, without letting your budget woes weigh you down, here's a look some pocket friendly tips to experience Paris. Deal with the formalities up front. General budgeting guidelines tend to remain the same for almost all destinations. So we're going to do a quick recap of those before we get on to Paris exclusively. Book your tickets early. The cost of a return flight to Paris does not fluctuate much throughout the year since there is a steady stream of travelers flying there every month. Therefore, the earlier, the better. Paris, being Paris, any time is a good time to be here. So there isn't an off-season to speak of. The city does swell with tourists in the summer, but as every budget traveler knows that come rain or sun or snow, Paris is the city for all seasons. Low-cost staying options are a reality in Paris. As for every George V, there is a Hotel Georgette as well. Opt to bunk in a hostel for a short trip. For anything over 10 days, you may want to try house visiting with couch surfing or renting an apartment. Corners around the city. Eating at Parisian CFS counts as a must-do. Most of them serve light and affordable one-course meals. So eating here is not only easy on the pocket, but also the authentic Parisian thing to do. Maxims may not fit into the league of budget travelers, but rest assured, you can sample the amazing French cuisine for less. To do this, try to find out where the locals eat and head there pronto. Sink Mars 51 Rue de Vernuel, 75,007 Paris is a great choice for a cozy and delicious meal whose cost won't make you cry. Another plus, and it stands true for most European cities, is that the restaurants have their menus placed outside their establishment. The prices are also mentioned alongside, so it is easy for customers to gauge if they can afford it. Saving on sightseeing, as mentioned before, Paris tree-lined streets are a dream to explore on foot. Yes. The city does have a fabulous public transport system in place and we do recommend you try it. Renting a car here is not only expensive, but the high parking rates will only add to your woes. We suggest you rent a bicycle with VLIB. This service allows you to rent a bike for short term or long term, pay at the center and return it at any VLIB station across the city. The service is affordable and environment friendly and is by far the best way to explore the city. Pocket friendly attractions agreed, most Parisian attractions do charge an entrance fee that may act as a dampener. But if you are a bit tenacious, there are a few ways to see these beauties for less. Here's how. The museums must e do louvre must e do louvre getting into Paris great museums is a top priority for most tourists who come here. The must e do louvre along with must e d'Orsay welcome patrons for free on the first Sunday of every month, particularly from October to March. If not throughout the year, needless to say, there are serpentine lines to contend with 
if you wish to bag a free visit to these great museums. Entrance to Mas E. Du Louvre's permanent collection costs Euro 12 and is free for those below the age of 18. A ticket to view the permanent collections in the Mas E. D'Orsay costs Euro 11. The garden's Jardin des Tuileries Paris is abundantly green and its gardens are certainly a delight to be in. The Jardin des Tuileries, for instance, is located on the right bank of the scene from the place de la Concorde to the entrance of the Louvre. Locals throng the park to beat the heat in the summer and also enjoy spectacular views of the city. You may also want to pay a visit to Claude Monet's favorite painting spot in Parc Monceau. Public parks are amazing places to pass time, soaking in the weather and the local atmosphere, and they don't cost a dime. The places of worship cathedral Notre Dame de Paris. The Notre Dame is Paris' most loved cathedral, equally for its history, its iconic architecture, and in part due to Victor Hugo's well-known saga, The Hunchback of Notre Dame. The cathedral does not charge an entrance fee, but you need to pay a sum to climb the North Tower. Sacre Sea or Basilica The Sacre Sea or Basilica is one of Paris' highlights and the crowning glory of the Montmartre district. Around 230 spiraling steps take you to the Basilica's dome, giving you one of the city's most arresting panoramas, spanning up to 30 km on a clear day. Entrance to the Basilica is free, but a charge is levied if you wish to climb the dome. The cemetery's Cemetery du Piri Lacais. Piri Lacais is perhaps the world's most visited cemetery. The graveyard is the final resting place of many famous names including artist Pablo Picasso, writer Oscar Wilde, and musician Jim Morrison. Undoubtedly, several fans visit the cemetery to pay homage to their idols while others turn up to visit the most visited graveyard in the world. And yes, it's free. The city of lights, La Ville Lumiere Paris, is a city that comes alive after sundown. Not for nothing does it get the title of the city of lights. So, do not forget to take a late evening stroll along the banks of the scene to view this wonderful city light up. Look out for the dazzling Eiffel Tower at night it seems a thousand times more brilliant than during the day. Also, it doesn't cost a cent. Paris is a delightful place to visit and as you can see, is not too expensive as well. So, get moving and plan your next holiday in La Ville Lumiere.